here are three things that are going to help you create a solid video that will look and sound good. The first one, audio is so, so important. You can have a great video with great visuals, but if the audio is not good, people are going to leave your video. And a lot of people listen to videos while they're driving to work and they'll set it next to them in their car. So imagine if your video only relied on the audio. So if you can only invest in one thing at a time, I would say your first priority is to make sure you have some good quality audio. You could still use your cell phone, your iPhone, or whatever you have to record your video, but get a separate mic where you can attach the audio and the video together in editing. So here we use these task cams and this is the DR10L. You don't have to get this exact one. There are lots of options on Amazon, for example. Just make sure you do your research and read the reviews. You just don't have to spend a ton of money, but it will be worth it if you can just invest in that one thing. Next, when you record a video, always have at least a rough outline of what you're going to say. First of all, it's going to be very frustrating if you sit down and you have no structure whatsoever. Don't get me wrong, you want to be natural, you definitely don't want to read a script line by line, but write out exactly what points you want to go over and just write a few sentences for each point and stick to that outline. Of course, you can ad lib, you can add little jokes, add your personality, but that way you're gonna keep on your topic, you're not gonna stray away, and by the end of the video, you'll know that you got all of the points across that you wanted to. Along with this, don't be afraid to look down at your outline in between points because it will be easy to edit in between those points. First of all, you'll be able to see when you're talking with the waveform in the editing system and you'll be able to see where there is silence. So it's gonna be easy for you to make some rough cuts and cut those silent parts out. That way you just have the areas where you are talking and then you can edit it from there. A lot of YouTubers, as you probably know, use jump cuts and that's exactly what they do, but they just end up compressing all of those clips together and cutting out where they took a breath, they said an um, or they needed to look down at their outline. That is a style that's really popular. If that's not for you and you prefer not to show where you made cuts, you can still do it by covering up those areas where you ended up making a cut. You can use different cameras and switch back and forth when you are making cuts. You can use graphics, you can use overlays, you can use screen records, and that way no one would ever know that you are editing those uh, clips together. But another benefit to this is if you edit all those clips together and you cut out all that extra space, it's going to keep the pace going of your video and that's going to keep people watching all the way through. And my third tip is actually start the editing process while you're doing your outline. And what that means is keep editing in mind when you're writing down your points. Another great thing that you can do is actually add what you want to say in what order, but also where you're going to shoot that and any additional things you're going to be putting in in editing. So write in the notes next to it that you need to go grab uh, a screen record or capture some sort of video or you want to add some text on it to go with some numbers that you're talking about or graphics. That way, when you sit down to edit, you have your plan, you have the list of all the points you went over, you have what extra things you want to put in there, and you have where all the shots were. All you have to do is sit down and put all the pieces together. You know you have a plan. Rather than just sitting down and kind of just winging it. That's going to frustrate you, especially if you don't have a whole lot of experience editing. You're not going to want to sit down and just see what happens. This is going to save you a whole lot of time, a lot of effort, possibly some frustration, and it's going to create a very good quality product.